Welcome back to the channel everybody. Thanks for tuning in. This is our Working with Evernote series and today we are going to talk about the brand new Evernote version 10 dashboard that snuck out in version 10.5.6 and 10.5.7 which just released uh, today December 17th. Well look at what we have here with the latest Evernote update. They've kind of sneaked in a little bit of code and with a special thanks to user Della73, although maybe he doesn't want to be called out publicly on this, Della73 on the Evernote forums has posted this little uh, sneak here and we're going to edit a couple of files that Evernote uses. Uh, these are on Windows. This is on Windows right now. You should be able to find these on your Mac as well. We'll do a couple of edits on our files here. We restart Evernote and look at what we get. We get Evernote's own built-in dashboard. Your most important information at your fingertips. So I'm just going to give you the sneak peek version here. Uh, they got this code out whether accidentally or on purpose we don't know they've said that they've removed it now uh, so I'll install 10 point 10.57 a little bit later and see if it still exists but let's just take a sneak peek right now and see what we are in store for for what's coming up in Evernote let's go ahead and get started click on the arrow to see all your notes looks like we're going to have a shortcut here to all notes hit next scratch pad over here jot down a quick note and convert it to a note later you'll already have that feature in your Evernote helper down on the bottom you can have a quick note here and you can start writing next customize home to show what you want and done let's just take a, a closer look here so I've, I've constantly been trying to uh, tell Evernote that they need to move the All Notes shortcut here up above Shortcuts, or at least let us put in a link to All Notes into the shortcuts, because if you've got a long shortcuts list, All Notes disappears fairly quick, and it's very handy to be able to get All Notes. As you can see here, I'm not sure if this how new this is, but I'm just seeing this now, a recent notes listing in here. I think this is also a part of the uh, beta features that kind of slipped out here anyway click on home for the new beta we've got our scratch pad so this is just a random thought in my Evernote scratch pad sounds good three dots what can we do convert to a note clear the scratch pad or we can remove the widget I'm not sure why that disappeared But again, beta, so I'm not expecting, yeah, they've, they've got some bugs they're working on. <laughs> That's clearing out automatically, so it's uh, kind of unusable right now. Three dots, go to all notes, we can remove widgets, we can pin a note. This is very handy for create a, another short widget here or short shortcut to a specific note, a favorite note. Recently captured notes, this is this is really great here from what I see web clips you could do recently captured images documents audio emails and again remove the widget if you didn't want it scrolling down notebooks recent and suggested so you can scroll through and put a select grouping in here of, of your favorite notebooks probably go to tags remove widget so this might be a tag cloud actually yes this looks like a tag cloud of the most common tags that you've got going on in your in your library and a display of different shortcuts I suspect you can move these around remove widget select a note to pin we talked about that recent and suggested for different favorite notes here so that works let's go up to customize drag widgets here available widgets looks like they're gonna have a list down the side of what you can do change the background image 
use your own image they're giving you some recommended dimensions or you can just pick something that they've got here already laid out for us a few different graphics looks good customize your home drag widgets wherever you like change background we've done that we don't have any default widgets in here default default widgets that doesn't work at the moment unless we maybe what's going on is because we've got maybe all of the widgets are on here if we go back to customize we've removed the scratch pad so let's go back to customize oh there it is so yeah available widgets and we can just drag it down into where we want to put it very nice very nice uh, change different sizes here of your widgets recently captured we can make them full size we can make them square and uh, middle of the road very nice feature done again beta software beta slip up uh, yeah very nice so how do we get that you say help we're gonna go down to about and like I said this was on a version that sneaked through the last couple of days here I'm recording this on December 17th so this is version 10.5.6 build 2168 for the public so I don't think I'm doing anything too too bad here by giving you guys the sneak peek of the Evernote built-in dashboard anyway this was just a quick video uh, like I say this came out a uh, little bit of a leaked information there and I'll leave a link down below you can jump to the Evernote forum to look up user Dallas 73 here on the new desktop uh, GUI information and he describes how to use how to where to find these files whoops a couple of file names here the full path insert the tag is home enabled true inside each configuration group and I will just drag down here over top of this this is my notepad editor so you'll want to use a plain text editor on uh, Microsoft you can use notepad if you wish I use something called sublime text and you're just adding this line here is home enabled true into each of these three groups what he doesn't talk about on the forum here is that you need to put a comma you need to put a comma on the prior line here so you'll see uh, sentry enabled false and it won't have a comma so you need to put that comma in there and then the is home enabled true line you add that on to the end save those configurations and then you're good to go just get rid of that so anyway that's it uh, quick and dirty video on the Evernote new dashboard that is currently listing as a beta item but uh, with a few little tweaks you can add this to your current Evernote version links down below in the description as usual thanks very much for watching be sure to like subscribe and share